Hello everybody, it's Ursula C. I have not been talking to you guys for probably a week or made a video anyway. And it's been a while since I made more of a personal video or tutorial, any updates, things like that. So I've decided to sit down with you guys because it is only Thursday and it's about to be the end of the week. And I'm just hoping that the craziness that has went on this past week will just disappear. I had my favorite quote or my favorite thing to say is are you freaking kidding me? And I had a lot of are you freaking kidding me moments this past week and so I was just like, you know what? I'm I got to tell the YT family about this. And maybe it'll make your worries seem less or maybe if you're worried about something, maybe you'll find some like comedy relief in all this. I have no idea, but I'm just going to jump into it and let you guys know um, what's been going on in Ursula C's world. First of all, I'm going to make this a brief update braces video for all my people who watch my video because of the braces. I am going to make a whole video dedicated to braces and what I've learned about them since having them, things like that. I kind of made a two-part introductory thing months ago. And now that I'm more into YouTube and making videos, I think that I need to update that and get that out there. I get a lot of uh, video watch or people watching my videos because of braces. So um, I just want to tell you guys that I went. And this is the start of the craziness of my week, okay? I went on Monday to the dentist. And I get there and they check me in. And this one lady, she always like, oh, you look looking nice. Yes, they're Asian, okay? No disrespect. And if you ask anybody that is really close to me, I love Asian people. I really, really do. But she like, oh, you look looking nice, you know? She always trying to say something to me. Okay, so, but let me back up. The last time I was there, I think she put the same wire in my teeth. And if you don't know anything about braces, you have your, you know, the, the big square things. And then you have the wire. Okay, that wire is supposed to be changed every time. I know she put the same one back in there because basically she let me know. But I was like, maybe I'm tripping. Whatever, okay. Well, I go in this time and I start asking, you know, every time I go in there, I'm like, what's going to happen with the braces? Oh, no, you wear, you wear, because, you know, you, you don't, you don't want it to go back. You don't want your teeth separate. Okay, boo, I know that. But I'm asking you, when is they going to get taken off? You mean, to, my, my teeth, guys, have been straight. My teeth were never just, like, totally jacked up. But I've had these braces on since May of last year, so pretty much next week or whenever May is going to start. I've had them for, like, a year because I got them, like, the first week of May. And then, um, so you telling me that I'm going to have to wear them for another six months, but my teeth have been straight since November. Okay, I mean, I'm just saying. But anywho, so she tell me to go brush my teeth because once they take the wire out and they're supposed to replace it, you go back in the room and you brush your teeth. I brush my teeth. Okay. And so then I goes back in there. And I know she put the same wire on my teeth. And I said, ma'am, is this the same wire? Oh, no, no. I cut new wire when you in the bathroom. No, no, boo. You ain't cut nothing. You ain't cut nothing. You ain't did nothing. You ain't cut no wire. You ain't cut it that fast. I know the process and what they normally do. And she ain't cut that wire. They always cut the wire in front of me. And she didn't cut that wire. And I know she put the same one in. Then she took that little gauze because she did the same thing the last time. And took the wire and just wiped it. And she put it back in my mouth. And there was like a lot of kids around that day. And I really wanted to go off. And I didn't. And I just said, you know what? When I when they call me to, ma'am, are you going to you gonna show up for the next appointment? We just call make sure you show up. I'ma say, yeah, I'ma make sure. I'm like, and make sure you got my new wire. And guarantee I'm gonna go off about that. So next month you might hear a whole different thing about my braces. And plus I owe, because I'm paying for this out of my pocket. Now I bet the day, because I have it, you know, I got me a, my own little in my mind payment plan, how I'm gonna do this. I bet you they gonna have, as soon as I pay off them braces, I bet they be all, I, and because I'm gonna pay them off way, of course. I'll probably pay them off in June. They're not supposed to come off till November, but I bet I show, I bet they show going to be like, oh, no, we can take them off. I'm like, oh, yeah, not because of you. I pay all you. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I got you, boo. Anyway, so that was the first thing. And before I go on, okay, I just want to tell you, 
you know what i'll just do this at the end okay because i can't talk no more about teeth but anyway my teeth are doing fine nothing crazy okay which i think they're doing insurance fraud uh-huh i'm gonna check up on everything because ursula c don't play that okay and so anyway number two so then I was like, oh, I'm so tired because I, I worked at the, I was supposed to work that night. I'm so tired, but you know what? I think my insurance is going to expire, and it was up for renewal. So I goes into the office. I had on a shirt, I guess, you know, similar certain shirt, but it was V-cut. Now, it wasn't showing my boobs, boobs, okay? And I'm sorry, but, I mean, my boobs ain't little, you know. I ain't got Johnny uh, Appleseed boobs. I got, um... Uh, Esther Rose Evan, whatever her name is. Damn, damn, damn. I got boobs, okay? I know that. And anybody walking down the street can see that. So I goes up to a little insurance company. No, no, pun intended. My boyfriend is half Hispanic and black. So anyway, this dude was Mexican. He just like, looking at my boobs. Uh, um, Mom, how do you spell your name again? told you how to spell my name like three times get your eyes off the chest and get them on the board get to typing so then I have my mom on my insurance and he really pissed me off at that point you know cuz I know guys are gonna try and look at the boobs okay but then he pissed me off guys because me and my mom are on the same insurance policy FYI if you don't know this call me fraud or whatever but I keep my mom we stay on this same insurance policy because guess what even though I'm getting older so is she I love my mama, but she's getting older. And the more she's getting older and I'm on there, guess what? The cheaper my insurance is. So that's why I have my mom on my insurance. This for, oh, so you live over here. You live over here. You live over by that movie theater. Then trying to ask the area I live in. I'm like, you know, you already got my address. If you want to know something, look it up. Then he tried to lie to me, and I caught him in so many different lies. If, if a fly could have been on the wall... It, they would have been like, dang, you know, the fly would have lost one of its wings. It just would have went, bloop, you know, just fell off. But anyway, so then the insurance guy was like, oh, I see now because you, you, you have your mom on there because, uh, be, because of the lean. I said the lean, what lean? I mean, what we lean with it, uh, rock with it. I mean, what, is that what we talking about? No. He going he think my mama on my insurance policy because lean meaning because she co-signed. I said, "Oh boo, I got my own credit. I don't I don't need my mama for that." I said, "I love my mama, but I don't need her for that." He felt right he felt right stupid. He's like, "Oh, that's your car. Oh, it's really nice." Mhm. They going to ask me what's the name the neighbor name of my neighborhood get trying to get out. I said, "It's the insurance Thing, you know on your computer is the company asking no I was just saying because I think I know that there you I said well I don't think you need to know what it is now okay but then I goes up into Whole Foods today you know I'm just trying to get some oils and this lady gonna come up to me you know I don't personal space is a you don't cross that line with me so they had like something I don't know if it was yogurt ice cream or what it was but, you know, they had it in a little cup. And I'm going to use my What Happens in Vegas Stays in Vegas shot glass to demonstrate. It was probably about this big, maybe even a little smaller. So, whatever it was, it's like you could lick it like it was ice cream, whatever she was eating. So, I'm in line. She's in, she's in back of me. And I kept seeing her looking at me while I was in Whole Foods. And she like, mm-hmm, you sure got a nice style there, you rocking. Something like that. And I'm like, huh? And she, mm-hmm. So, uh... Yeah, um, so what you do? What you sell? Are you freaking kidding me? Another hint, are you freaking kidding me moment. And I was like, I mean, like, I couldn't say nothing. I was like, well, I work and I sell Avon, which, by the way, guys, I sell Avon. If you want to um, buy anything from me, you're Avon.com backslash you Crockett, okay? Anyway, so she was like, Oh, oh you oh you know about artistry? Uh and I was like, yeah, my friend, she sells it or she used to. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. So you I was like, uh, you know, thank God, saved by the bill. This lady was like, ma'am, we could take you in the next line. I mean, yeah, we could take I could take you in the next line. And I just had to look at that lady. I said, Thank you for the opportunity though. 
I mean, are you freaking kidding me? First of all, if you're trying to recruit somebody, why are you up? Mm -hmm. You got you sure got a nice style, or you rocking there? Are you freaking kidding me? Get that crap out of here! I don't need that. Then I go to Old Navy. I'm ain't nobody in the dressing room. Ain't nobody around, right? So I'm like, all the doors are closed and locked. This lady come with her little girl, and I mean. She, the little girl you could tell was biracial the mama was white so she know you know how black folks do how we get the attitude so she cut in front of me and then she go she start opening doors well it's people in the dressing rooms why you think i'm standing here and then when the dressing room came open she gonna tell her daughter go ahead on in i looked at her like she stole my favorite pair of high heel shoes uh what you doing and she goes, oh, oh, I'm sorry. Were you in line? Yeah, think I'm just standing here with about five outfits in my hand and a pair of shoes just standing here, just, just standing here. You know, really? Oh, well, you can go be the nice person that I am. I just let her daughter go in. And, and see, I'm thinking to myself, why did you cut a black sister? You know how we do. You should know better. But it's all to the good. You know, other than that, my week has been blessed. I'm alive, I'm not sick, I'm well, and I guess that's, that's, you know, that's what we have to look forward to in life. It's just that you got to keep going, okay? And, uh, oh, and the last thing, as y'all know, I have braces, and I'm going to do a, first, a separate video for this, but I love these little things, and I really just, I threw away the wrong part, but have y'all ever had a Colgate Wisp? <laughs> this is a Colgate Wisp, and they come in different flavors and stuff and it has a little pick here so if you want to pick your teeth and it's really good because you brush you brush it like you're brushing your teeth and then like this kind this is the newest flavor it's called bubblegum and then afterwards your breath is really fresh so like if you're out you know on a date with your girls or with a special boo-boo you goes in the bathroom and you just brush up and you'll get any stuff out of your teeth and then you know you can brush your tongue as well and this stuff will make your breath smell like whatever flavor it is and it'll be fresh and it does just feel really different so you know if you don't carry around a toothbrush for all my people that wear braces and for people that don't wear this my friend uh, actually 05 Shawana she uh, check out her YouTube channel she loves these she says that I have her hooked on these and these are Colgate Wisp and yes I just ended my video talking about Colgate Wisp I hope y'all enjoy there's gonna be more videos coming up and, oh, one more thing. I colored my hair. Y'all like it? Hope y'all can see it. Anyway, guys, um, that's all that's been going on with my life. And I've just been busy because I've been really into selling my Avon. I need a side hustle because let me tell you, gas is like damn near $4. Can't do it, won't do it. I got places to go. So, anyway, with that said, this is just a rambling video. I haven't forgot you guys. Stay tuned for more daily devotionals, tutorials, um, just things that I've bought. A lot more videos are coming up, guys. So, I haven't gone anywhere. I'm still here. I'm not just doing the daily devotionals. I, I have other things going on. It's just hard. But those daily devotionals, obviously, I'm making the videos for those because they keep me sane a little bit. So anyway, I just wanted to touch base with you guys, and um, I hope you guys, if I don't get back to you, have a very lovely, safe, and happy, wonderful Easter. And I know all y'all are going to church because that's when everybody go to church for Easter. Come on, people. Let's get it together. All right. Peace out.